Welcome to the Toffee Blues, your source for all things Everton. Um, we've got some interesting comments that have just come through from Nikola Vlasic, who's out on loan currently at TSK Moscow. Um, he's made some comments. He's having his winter break at the moment, so he's, uh, he's spoken to the Russian press out there. Croatian newspaper, it's Croatian press, sorry, actually. Sports Ken Novosti, and he's, um, he's been speaking about his time at Everton. And he said, um, everything changed after Koeman left. The football played by Big Sam was awful, if it could even be called football. In such football, I do not have a place. The football team was terrified by everything. The fans mostly. This season, Marco Silva plays much, much different, much nicer football, but that has not got results. Um, there are the comments by Vlasic. Um, so we've asked you guys today, let us know what you think of these comments, especially the one that um, last season the team was terrified by the fans, apparently, and whether that's applicable to this season, because there's been comments recently about um, about the atmosphere at Goodison Park. Um, I'll just read out a couple of the comments. Um, Mr. Lee has said, honest comments and I don't see anything wrong with them. He didn't really get a fair chance. Football under Allardyce was horrendous and didn't shoot him. He's kicked on since being on loan and maybe deserves a full pre-season with us to be evaluated properly. Um, yeah, possibly. Um, did he get a full pre-season this season and then get sent on loan? Debatable. Um... Also, uh, Neil has said you you would um, MAF Neil you would love to you would you would hope the players get tra- get the training and support to deal with this stress and abuse. Um, yeah, it's about, I suppose so. That brings in the question um, recently raised about the mental strength of this squad potentially um, whether that's an issue. Also, um, Mark Langshaw said I had a problem with his comment about the club prejudging him because he came from the Croatian league. I like to think Everton are more professional than that, and the fans are more open-minded. I suppose so. Um, let us know in the comments as well whether you you, you agree with these um, comments about Everton, because I think it's fair to say the, the comments about Allardyce are, are fair, but to say that the um, the fans are terrifying the players is quite extreme. To be fair, um, I know we had the issue early in the season with some of the young players, especially Tom Davis. The fans getting on the back a little bit too much, and I think we all agreed that on on that. But um, whether the fans were terrified by the by the um, sorry the players were ter- terrified by the fans this season is um, is debatable. Um, Anko Mand- Mandania says hard to disagree with him. More importantly, seems like he needs convincing that the project at Everton will suit him going forward, given how little time he's spent here and how well the loan's gone. Hard to fault him for that, I suppose. So um, I agree with you there, to be honest. Um, and. We'll read out two more. Eddie Grundy said, when a team doesn't play well or get the ball forward quick enough, the fans show their frustration. A bit quick for my liking. I think we are impatient as Everton fans. Um, we maybe get get on the backs a little bit too much. Maybe that's because um, that's the kind of club we are. I think we're, we're, fans are quite uh, quite demanding, but um, if that's what we want to see, especially um, among Allardyce's terrible football that Blasher speaks of last season. We were keen to uh, just kind of get the players forward and play proper football. So, um, that's my explanation of that one. One more comment. Alan R. Newton says, It shows the poor mentality of a lot of modern-day footballers, but many Evertonians said the atmosphere was toxic. That was largely down to Fat Sam's uber-inflated ego and the huge money squandered previously under Koeman. Uh, yeah, underlined my previous point on it uh, also about the, um, the demands uh, Everton fans put on the club, but because what we've been given... Um, Last season, obviously, we was, we were just wasting money and uh, and then the football at the end of the season wasn't very pleasant. So we weren't just going to sit there, sit back and accept it where we as Everton fans. We've got to get on the backs and we've got to show our discontent, really, and that's what we did. So um, you let us know in the comments, as I say, what you think of these of these uh, these reports from Blasic that have just come out. But uh, it's, it's an interesting one. Um, whether you agree with them or not, let us know. And uh, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the Toffee Blues. Thanks for watching. Enjoy us next time.